Yeah, Jeannie, for someone like me who didn't know Julie, Judy Coughlin, I feel like I have met her before just talking to those who loved her. We're here at the beach, and the beach is really Judy Coughlin's happy place. It's where she felt at home. She would bring her grandchildren here. It's filled with love, and that's really the one word that comes to mind when people remember Judy Coughlin. She loved her grandchildren, her family, Tom Coughlin, the Jaguars, but really everyone she touched. Judy took care of Tom, and that old expression, uh, behind every good man is a better woman, uh, it's different with her. Behind every great coach is even a greater woman and a loving woman. Ernie Bono has been friends with the Coughlin since they moved to Jacksonville in the 90s. We traveled to so many different places. We would take the off weekends that the Jags would have, and in some cases the Giants would have, and we would go to certain places. Uh, they weren't far away, but Judy organized the whole trip, and she wanted to make sure that Tom had a good time. For 50-plus years, Judy took care of Tom, the kids, and everyone else, even after being diagnosed with a brain disorder that started to eat at her memory. Right before she really started to get sick, she was sick, but they came here for dinner. And she came in and she gave us this gift and it says, I love Nocatee. I mean, she didn't even know where Nocatee was. That's the typical thing that she would do as she would care about the person that she had. Ernie was by Judy and Tom's side at the end. As she laid silent in a coma, her heart normally bursting with affection was faint. Yet Ernie still felt her love. I love her. I love you. And I kissed her. Oh, Ernie Bono saying that he was by Judy and Tom Coughlin's side as she passed. As she passed, he described her loss as a massive void. Judy Coughlin, truly a person who can make a stranger feel like a long lost friend whenever she touched whoever she touched in this city. We're here at Michaelers Beach. Andrew Badillo, First Coast News on your side.